let's now discuss about the second part of the stomach that is external feature of the stomach here in this diagram you can see this is position of the stomach here is esophagus this is stomach this is diaphragm here here is duodenum this is showing broken line this is duodenum you can see the stomach extend from lower end of esophagus to first part of the duodenum it has two orifices one orifice is here and the orifice is here it has two orifices are two openings it has two curvature it has two surfaces first of all two orifices one orifice is here this is known as cardiac orifice it lies about 2.5 cm left to medial plane this is about 2.5 cm left to medial plane here and at the level of here this level is level of T11 vertebra this is level of T11 vertebra it lies at level of T11 vertebra at about 2.5 cm left to medial plane this is medial plane this is cardiac end cardiac orifice here this is cardiac orifice and another orifice is pyloric orifice this is pyloric orifice this orifice lies at level of J1 vertebra at the level of transpyloric plane that means J1 vertebra at the lower border of J1 vertebra here and about 1.2 cm 1.2 cm right from medial plane this is 1.2 cm right from medial plane so these are two at orifices cardiac orifice and pyloric orifice it lies at level of t11 and it lies at level of j1 vertebra and that thing this there are two curvature this is lesser curvature this is lesser curvature forms the right border and here lesser omentum is attached and here at the lower end this point and angulation is present this is known as incisora angularis this is known as incisora incisora angularis or angular notch this is also known as angular notch this is angular notch this is angular notch this is lesser curvature and the curvature is this is greater curvature this is greater curvature here and the notch is present that is known as cardiac notch this is cardiac notch or angle of his this is angle of his or cardiac notch so along the lesser curvature there is incisora angularis or angular notch is present here this is angular notch 
and along the greater curvature here there is cardiac notch or angle of his is present this is there are two surfaces anterior surface facing anterior superiorly and posterior surface facing posterior inferiorly now we will discuss about the divisions here from angular notch from this a line drawn from here passes downward and towards the left and it divides the stomach into two parts this is cardiac part and this is pyloric part so the stomach is divided into two parts cardiac part and pyloric part by this line which passes from angular notch to greater curvature direction is downward and left side this is cardiac and this is pyloric part again this cardiac part is divided by horizontal line it passes from this orifice this horizontal line divides into two part this is fundus upper part is fundus and lower part is body of the stomach this is fundus and this is body and now pyloric part this pyloric part is divided into two part by sulcus intermedius this is sulcus intermedius it divides into two part pyloric antrum and pyloric canal this is pyloric antrum and pyloric canal so pyloric antrum and this is pyloric canal so it is divided initially into two part then again divided into two parts So there are four parts: fundus, body, pyloric antrum, and pyloric canal. And here, at the pylorus, at the terminal part, or at the junction of the pyloric and part and the first part of the duodenum, there is a vein is present. This is known as pre-pyloric vein of Mayo. This is pre-pyloric vein of Mayo. This is. pre-pyloric mild so this is all about the second part